In this video, I want to explain how to find area of a triangle using determinants. I'll not, I'll not go into determinants, but basically it is finding the value of a determinant. So what I want to do is to find area of a triangle. Area of a triangle. Now, you should be knowing the different formulas for area of a triangle. The basic formula of area of a triangle you may have learned is area of a triangle is half times base times height. So this is the basic formula. And the formula that I'm going to write is actually based on this formula. So the formula is like this. The area is half is half times. It's very uh, logical in a very orderly formula. It is x1 times y2 minus y3. It's a very cyclic form. x1 times y2 minus y3 plus x2 times y3 times y3 minus y1 plus x3 times y1 minus y2. Now, you may wonder what is this all about. These are not, these are coordinates. So if you look at the 1, 2, and 3, can you see it's an order? 1, 2, and 3. This is 2, 3, 1, 3, 1, 2. So it's a cyclic order of 1, 2, and 3. So it's very simple to remember x1, it's the x coordinate, first coordinate, times the y2 coordinate minus y3 and so on. So the only thing that we have to do to apply this formula is the coordinate should be in the anti-clockwise direction. It should be anti-clockwise to get a positive answer. You can get, if you go clockwise, the answer, this would be negative. So these are the two things, anti-clockwise. So what do I mean by this? So let's take a real example. Say let's say this is your y-axis and this is your x-axis. So this is the x-axis and this is your y-axis. And let's make up a triangle, say somewhat looking like this. So this is so not drawn to scale. So so the coordinate of this is say 1 comma 1. The coordinate this point is 5 comma 3. 5 comma 3. And uh, this is uh, this is 3 comma 7. 3 comma 7. So as I told you. Uh, we have to identify what is x1, y1, x1, y1, uh, y, x2, y2, and x3, y3. Now, the, the way in which you're going to identify them is it has to be uh, anti-clockwise or counterclockwise. So you can start at any point. So let's start at this point. So this is the starting point. So this is your x1, y1. So this, if this is x1, y1, this is clockwise. I hope you know clockwise. This is clock going clockwise. And anticlockwise is going the other way around. So this is anticlockwise. So we have to go, this we have to identify as x2, y2. This is x2, y2. You can go clockwise, but the only thing is your answer, yeah, this would be, your area would be negative. This is x3, y3. Okay, so this is basically uh, a, uh, the value of a determinant. Okay, so let me use a different color. So I can say area using that same formula. Area A is equal to half. Let me just substitute the values. What is x1? <coughs> x1 is 1 times y2 minus y3. So it's going in a very systematic way, 3 minus 7, y2 minus y3, plus x2. 
what is x2? x2 is 5. Then you have to go y3 minus y1, that is 7 minus 1, plus x3. x3 uh, plus x3 is 3, x3 is 3 x3 times y1 minus y2. So your y1 is 1 minus 3. Okay, so let's simplify this. So this is half times, half times, this is 1 times negative 4 plus 5 times 6 plus 3 times negative 2. So let's simplify this let me see. so this is half times what this is negative 4 plus 30 minus 6 so which is same as half times half times 30 minus 10 30 minus 10 which is half times 20 half times 20, which is 10. Now those who have learned determinants or matrix, this same formula can also be written in a matrix form. So let me use a different color. Area, area is equal to half times, half times the determinant of the matrix. You have to write like this, one, 1, 1, 5, 3, 1. So you have to make a square matrix. That's why you have to put this. these 1, 1, 1 are the placeholders. These are the coordinates. The first coordinate, 1, 1, 1, 5, 3, 1, 3, 7, 1. And if you find the determinant of this, this will be half of half times 20. If you find the determinant of Hopefully you know how to do determinants, which is 10. Let me show how you can do this on a calculator. You can find the value of the determinant also on a calculator. So let me do it. Let me go to menu 1, go to matrix, matrix A. So this is a 3 by 3 matrix. And you have to just enter the number 1. 1, 1, 5, 3, 1, and 3, 7, 1. And then exit, exit, and then you have to go 0 0.5 times. You go to option, matrix, determinant of matrix alpha A equal that's 10 okay so if you find the determinants of you if you go determinant of matrix alpha a that will be 20 okay so basically <coughs> this is x1 so the general formula can if you want to write this in the general formula area is half times half times if you want to write the general formula it's the determinant of x1, y1, 1, x2, y2, 1, and x3, y3, 1. So if you find the determinant, so this is what the formula is, 1 times y2 minus y3 plus x2, those who know determinants will understand what I'm talking about, plus you can go, you can take x2 times, if you take minus x2, it will be y1 minus y3. And that's why it is plus x2 and you're reversing it. So if you take x2, you have to cancel this row. You would not look at this row and this column. And that's why y2 minus y3 and x plus x3 times y1 minus y2. So these are the determinants. So these are the determinants of the cofactor.